Today we're trying Indian food. We got the buttered chicken, the garlic naan, the onion bajia, the gulab jamun. I think I got that right. And this came with some sauce and a whole basin of rice. We went to India oven in Bowling Green, Kentucky for a grand total of $35. Let's start with this onion bajia. This is great. It tastes like an onion ring, but there's no onion inside. It just has onion flavoring. So it's kind of like a fry. I like it. I give this an eight. Now let's try a piece of this garlic naan. It's paper thin. That seasoning is out of this world. It has a nice garlic Parmesan taste and that is cooked to perfection. I'm not even joking. It's thin bread, but it has so much flavor to it. In fact, this might be the best bread I've ever had in my life. 9.5. Now let's try this buttered chicken for the very first time. Now they didn't give me a fork or nothing. So thankfully I had a fork in my car, but yeah. Holy crap. This might be the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. <sighs> okay. Let me chill out. This chicken is like it's like liquid it just melts in your mouth okay and as for the butter taste it does taste a little oily but what i'm really getting is a cinnamon taste for some reason and this is absolutely delicious you get these giant chunks of chicken in here you get a lot of it this thing was 15 dollars, i know but look how much preparation and work went this thing and it's a big portion it would take me forever to eat all this and this broth and everything this is divine it is not the best thing i've ever had in my life but it is truly divine one of the best things i've had in my life i give this a 9.9 .9. i am absolutely blown away i'm gonna be getting this a lot more we're gonna break off a piece of this garlic naan and dip it in the buttered chicken let's see how good this is my taste buds have been violated that should be a crime that I, I'm, I'm tweaking. <sighs> okay, let's wrap this up with the gulab jamun. Oh, dang, that's kind of hard to get in there. Okay, this is sitting in a bowl of syrup, by the way. With the syrup on it, it kind of reminds me of a condensed pancake. And it's kind of heavy hitting, heavy in the stomach. So it's good, but I give it like a six. If you ever hit up Indian oven or any other Indian restaurant in the future, please get their barred chicken. Do yourself a favor.